Hi, in today's lesson, we're going to review all the exponent properties that you've learned so far. So notice the directions for this sheet says to use the laws of exponents to rewrite each expression as a single positive exponent. So if you highlight the word positive. So just remember that when you get your final answer, it should be using a positive exponent. All right, so looking at the very first problem, I have negative 4 to the 5th power to the 8th divided by negative 4 to the 7th to the 3rd power. So my exponent or my order of operation says you do exponents first. Before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what is negative 4 to the 5th power to the 8th power. So that's the very first thing that I'm going to do. And so when I do that, I'm going to keep my base of negative 4, and then these exponents, the 5 and the 8, they get multiplied together. Remember that 5 times 8 is 40. And then I'm going to keep my division sign, and now I'm going to look over here. I've got negative 4 to the 7th power cubed. So I'm going to keep my base again of negative 4, and then these exponents right here also get multiplied together. Remember the power rule. So 7 times 3 is 21. Okay, now all I've got to do is do the division. So remember, this is the quotient rule now. Quotient rule comes up when you're dividing two exponential expressions. And the quotient rule says that you keep your base, which in this case is negative 4, and then we're going to take these exponents, the 40 and the 21, and we're going to subtract them. So normally I would say top minus bottom, right? Because we're used to seeing them one on top of the other. But in this case, it's to, I'm going to do the first one minus the second one, right? So 40 minus 21. So that's going to be 19. My exponent is positive, so I'm done. This is my final answer. It would be negative 4 in parentheses to the 19th power. If you don't have that in parentheses, then this would not be correct. Let's try another one. Let's look at number 2. So I have 19 to the negative 7th power times 19 to the negative 5th power, all divided by 19 to the negative 6th. There are no parentheses here, but before you can do anything, we need to fix the top portion. So I'm going to look at just this part right here. And since these two expressions are being multiplied together, we're going to apply the product rule. And the product rule says you keep the base and then you're going to add these exponents. So negative 7 plus negative 5 is negative 12 all over and I'm going to keep 19 to the negative 6. Now I'm ready to apply my quotient rule. And the quotient rule says you keep the base, so my base is 19, and then you're going to take these exponents and subtract them. So I need to figure out what is negative 12 minus negative 6. Well, that would be negative 6. Okay, so I'm almost finished, except remember the direction said to leave your answer as a positive exponent, and I don't have a po positive exponent here. This is the same as 1 over 19 to the 6th power. So that is my final answer, and I'm going to highlight that. Okay, let's go to another problem. Let's look at number 3. So in this one, we have 8 cubed to the negative 5th power times 8 to the 5th to the 4th. And as I'm reading through this, I notice that I have a power to a power here. So, again, we're going to keep that base, which in this case is an 8, and my power rule says that these exponents get multiplied together. So, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. I'm going to keep my multiplication sign, and then I see over here I have 8 to the 5th to the 4th power. So, again, this is power to a power. So, I'm going to apply the power rule again. So, that's going to be 8 to the 20th power, because the 5 and the 4, they get multiplied together. At this point, now I just have two expressions being multiplied together. So I'm going to bring down the 8, and then these exponents are going to be added. The product rule says we add those exponents. So I need to figure out what is negative 15 plus 20. Well, that's positive 5. Uh, so my answer is 8 to the 5th power, and I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, we're going to do two more, and then you can try some on your own. 
So let's look at number four. So I have eight to the negative fourth power times eight to the negative two power all divided by eight squared. So you're gonna have to figure out or simplify your numerator first. And in the numerator, I need to apply the product rule. So I'm gonna keep my base of eight and the product rule says that these exponents get added together. So I need to know what is negative four plus negative two. Well, that would be negative six. I want to keep that over eight squared. Now my quotient rule is the only thing left to apply here. So I keep my base of eight and the quotient rule says that we subtract these exponents, top minus bottom. So I'm going to do negative six minus two. Well, remember that that is going to end up being negative eight. So I end up with eight to the negative eighth power. So for this one, I have a negative exponent. So to fix that, that's the same as one over eight to the eighth power. And that's it for number four. Let's do one more example. Number five, I have negative 12 to the eighth power to the fourth power times negative 12 to the ninth to the negative third. So if you look right here, this one is a power to a power. So I'm gonna apply the power rule. So I keep my base of negative 12, and that is a negative base, which it needs to be in parentheses. And then these exponents get multiplied together. Eight times four is 32 times. And then over here on this side, I have a power to a power. So I'm gonna keep my base and again, multiply my exponents. So my base is negative 12, my exponents are 9 and negative 3. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Now I'm ready to finish it up. So this is just two exponential expressions being multiplied together. So this is the product rule. So with the product rule, we keep our base. So I'm going to keep my base of negative 12. And then my exponents here are going to be added together. So I'm going to do figure out what is 32 plus negative 27. So that's going to be positive 5. Now, I do have a negative base, but not a negative exponent. Since the exponent is positive, I'm done. If it was a negative exponent, then I would rewrite the expression. Okay, so now it's your turn. Okay, so now I want you to do the remaining problems. So that's going to be 6 through 15. So pause the video and complete those problems and then come back here and check your answers. Remember you're going to need to write down or make sure you have all of your work shown. Good luck. Welcome back. Hopefully you did well with this. So here are the solutions to problems 6 through 15. Uh, you need to pause the video and make sure that you are going back and actually checking over your work, make the necessary corrections. If all you have are answers, then you'll need to go back and add in the work just as you see here. So I'm going to scroll up. Again, you are welcome to pause the video to make sure you get all of this information. Once you've submitted this assignment, you'll be ready to do your independent practice. Uh, good luck on your work today.